All right, guys, in this second quick little video, we're going to add in the inequalities, which basically means we're graphing them exactly the same as we graphed them in the previous video, except the inequalities will add a dotted or solid line, and then we'll figure out where exactly we're shading. So let me write just a couple of little pointers up above here. So remember, if you have less than or just a greater than, and there's no or equal to, it is a dashed line. Whereas your less than or equal to, or greater than or equal to, so if you do have the or equal to, then it ends up being a solid line. So that's nothing new. We've been doing inequalities for a while, so you guys know that. And then the second thing to add, with these, the less than literally means under the graph, and the greater than means above the graph. That's not always true, but with these ones it is. Okay, so if you have a less than or equal to, or just a less than, you're shading below the graph. And if you have a greater than or equal to, or just a greater than, you are shading above the graph. So we need to figure out what kind of line it's going to be and how we're going to shade it. And that's really the only thing new. The graphing part is identical to what we did in the previous video. All right, so this, and remember, f of x is just the same as y, so don't let that freak you out. So when we're graphing this, we know our starting point, and then we know if it's stretched or flipped or compressed or anything like that. So we are going to start this graph at positive 4, because remember we do the opposite of x, and then negative 6, we do exactly what we see for y. So that's your starting point. The negative on the outside tells you that it is flipped upside down. Okay, and then this less than. Less than, first of all, means a dashed line, and it means we shade below. Okay, so we've got a dashed line, and we're going to shade below. So those are all the pieces that we need. We're going to combine them all up. So set up right here, we've got 4, negative 6. Okay, so that is your starting point right there. And then you are flipping upside down. Okay, so remember what that less than or that negative 1 means is you can go down 1 over 1 and then plot a new point. Okay, so we got that. Now when we're actually great sh uh, shading it, it's dashed and we're shading below. So draw a nice little dashed line like that. Okay, and then our shading is going to bump into the next problem, so sorry. And then make sure when you shade it, so the less than means you shade below, and it should be within the domain. All right, it's got to be within the domain, which basically means you start at this point, Start by drawing like a little line down from the starting point because you will never go to the left of that. Your domain is only values of x that are bigger than 4, so you can't shade to the left of that at all. So we would shade underneath, but only to the left of that point. All right, so it looks something like this. And of course, if I wasn't running into another problem, we would extend that graph further. This part's very important. Make sure it stops when the x value starts. Like you shouldn't be shading anywhere to the left because that is not included in your domain. All right, let's get some info about this one. So our starting point for this next one is negative 2, because we go opposite, and then negative 4, y is always the same. Uh, there's nothing out front, so it's not flipped, it's not stretched. We're just going to go up one over one for our next point. The or equal to means we have a solid line, and the greater than means we shade above. And remember, when you shade above, you're only shading within the domain, just like we did for this one. So we'll set up our starting point here. We go negative 2, negative 4. So we start right there. And then, like I said, no stretch, no compression. We can just go up one over one to go to the next point. It's a solid line. So we can graph it like that. And this means we shade above. So we extend a nice little line from our domain. Remember, we're not going past that. And then you can shade everything over here. Make sure you're using the domain, and we are not going anywhere to the left of where that x value starts. Because you couldn't plug in anything smaller than a negative 2, which means you can't shade anything smaller than a negative 2. So it'll keep going to the right, it'll keep going up, but you can't go any farther to the left, and you definitely can't go underneath. 